PG-13 rating on this. Hey guys, what's up? Team Natty back here again. Today, we're gonna be talking about Saul Palmetto. What is it? How, what's the history behind it? And what does it do? First, we're gonna go on a run in Columbus with my friend Matt. I will see you guys there. Let's go. lunch and then I'm gonna come back to the house and do this review on the Sal Palmento. I will see you there. Good run about eight miles 10 8.1 miles and I think we did it about an eight minute 54 second mile pace. Not too bad, not too bad. First like longish road run since the marathon. Alright let's go get some food. Hey guys team Natty back here again. Today we're gonna to be talking about Sal Palmetto. Sal Palmetto is an herbal supplement it is derived from a coastal palm tree that mostly grows in Florida and California. In fact, actually the majority of the commercial salt palmetto is grown in Florida. So this product, ZHOU Zhao, I think I'm saying it, salt palmetto prostate health complex dietary supplement, 100 capsules, got it off of Amazon, wasn't more than like 20 bucks, I think 16 something. Um, but it's, let me just go over this bottle by itself. So this says supplement facts. It's a serving size one capsule. It's got 100 capsules in it. So it's 100 days worth or 100 servings worth because I think the recommended dosage is, let's see, directions suggested use one capsule daily, preferably with a meal or as directed by a healthcare professional. So before we dive into the nitty gritty of this, make sure you are talking to your doctor or preferably a pharmacist when it comes to taking something like this. Uh, go over your medications, what you're on, what you might be experiencing, are you breastfeeding? Um, do you have thyroid issues? Stuff like that, you know, make sure you go over those kinds of things with a medical professional, which I am not one, but go over those with a medical professional before you start taking any sort of supplement, especially this one. Good. Okay, let's move on. So this is 100 servings. It's from the salt palmetto berries from a powder and an extract. There's 450 milligrams of the powder. There is 50 milligrams of the berry extract, which is 45% fatty acids. Um, other ingredients include gelatin and vegetable magnesium stearate. 45% standardized salt palmetto extract. It's lab verified, non-GMO, made with ingredients that are non-GMO. It has got the good manufacturer's practice, consistent quality stamp, carefully crafted for Zhao Nutrition, which is based out of Park City, Utah. And then they have their own hashtag, which is how is Zhao, how is Zhao, I don't know. Zero gluten fish, milk, eggs, soy, shellfish, tree, nuts, peanuts, wheat, or preservatives, so that's pretty cool. Uh, formulate to help support urinary flow and prostate function. Greatness by nature. Let's see here. And of course, these statements have been regulated by the FDA. So, salt palmetto from a palm tree, mostly in coastal regions, been used by Native Americans dating back to the 1700s. We've seen it used for urinary health. Um, so, what does science say about it? Well, there's a lot of cases, but the thing is, the there are inconsistencies with what form they're using whether it be a powder extract the fruit extract from the root the berry um you know is it is it powder form is it liquid form it you know all these things 
vary and change. And then there's with the, the questions on the dosing. Uh, I've heard lots of people say that the, the, the extract of the powder from the root doesn't matter, the fruit doesn't matter, or like it changes. And it seems that there's a lot of back and forth, but that is basically the case with any sort of herbal supplement. And the thing is a lot of people will state side effects and some people might not even have those side effects. Or if you state a side effect that you might have experienced during the trial with this, they have to list it. So say it's, and that's the same with any sort of medication. So say you're taking a medication and someone died on it. You have to list side effects of death because they, they experienced that while on this medication. When it comes to salt palmetto, it's actually um, been used for a while now. Uh, in fact, Native Americans and the Mayans used it to help with urinary problems. They ate the fruits. So this, it's this, um, this palm tree, it has like these uh, deep purple berries that it grows and it's a fruit you can eat. Uh, sometimes they use the extract of that fruit to make these capsules, but basically uh, Native Americans and Mayans have used it uh, for a long time. Uh, it's been dated back to even the 1700s and I think in 19, in the 1920s it was published as use for BHP. Um, but we're going to get into what that is and why people use it. BPH is benign prostatic hyperplasia, which means age induced enlargement of the prostate. So just so you know. So this fan palm, the leaves of it or whatever, the fans, they look like a, a saw blade. That's why it's called saw palmetto, or at least that's what I'm told. Now people will use this. It's been marketed for a couple different things. Like I said, BHP, but majority is reducing DHT. So helping with prostate health, uh, which means decreasing the size of the prostate and actually hair growth, hair treatments. Then what is this? How does this work? What does it do? Why does it help prostate health? Well, so a lot of the things that I've said, like the studies on it have shown that it helps reduce DHT. How does it help reduce DHT? Well, there's an enzyme in your body called 5-alpha reductase. And what that does is it converts testosterone in your body to this byproduct called dihydrotestosterone, which is DHT. The DHT enlarges your prostate and it also attaches to your hair follicles on your scalp, thus killing them and making them fall out in what leads to male pattern baldness. Salt palmetto slows down this enzyme, 5-alpha reductase, from converting DHT, or from converting testosterone into DHT, thus stopping DHT from making your hair thin and enlarging your prostate. Uh, some studies have shown that only thin, it only decreases the size of the thin lining of the prostate, which is what um, hinders the flow of urine. So it does help with urinary health and problems, but um, there's, it's still up in the air whether it helps with actual prostate health. Um, but a lot of people have stated that their prostate score or whatever, their numbers have gone up, it's gotten better, like their si the size of it has gotten smaller, so on and so forth. And that a lot of people talk about the the effects it's had on their hair. Now I've read several Amazon comments about people who are verified purchasers who have talked about how their brother or their father, whatever the case, they had family members who have had thinning hair and they took this and although they had thin hair, their hair didn't get any thinner, they didn't go bald to the point. I think that's the important thing to think about this thing. If you are gonna use it for hair or something of that sort, that it doesn't make your hair grow back and you're not gonna have like this full, thick, rich head of hair. Um, but it is going to stop the process, at least hinder it or slow it, of your hair thinning out completely. And so you will keep what you have, I guess. Uh, at least from what I've read. Why did I pick this up? For hair thickness, really, and just overall prostate health. But there are some side effects and things that I have seen uh, online that people have talked about, and that is things like nausea, vomiting, dizziness. Um, I thought I even read something about thyroid issues, I'm not sure if there's one or something else, but I, I've seen a lot of these in um, bodybuilding testosterone boosters, just like the horny goat weed and the maca weed review that I did forever ago. I've seen a lot of these in testosterone boosters, natural testosterone boosters for men who are trying to get bigger and stronger. Now, why might I put that in something for men trying to get bigger and stronger? And the reason is because when testosterone is not getting it convert into this dihydrotestosterone, you have more testosterone, then like you have less of the byproduct and more of the good stuff. Supplemental's also been shown 
or at least hypothesized, I guess, I don't know, studied on the effects of lowering uh, estrogen and increasing testosterone, thus helping you have more of that natural testosterone in your body, thus creating um, better gains. You know, helping out with muscle increase, uh, stamina, strength, performance, and it sounds all great, you know, you're like, well, shoot, it's a plant. Uh, maybe it doesn't have the harsh chemical side effects as drugs. Most herbals don't. Even if they do list side effects, they're not as harsh as the drug company side effects because it's natural, it's not man-made. But what, what could go wrong? And um, apparently, with some people, they have noticed, not everyone, but some people have noticed a lack of drive, a lack of motivation, uh, not feeling as manly, so a decrease in libido. It's It's causing them to not be as sexually active or as driven, to not have that drive. So, those are some of the negative side effects of it. Decrease in libido, decrease in drive or motivation, apparently. Um, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, dizziness, that sort of thing. Um, like I said, always talk to your doctor or pharmacist before looking at stuff like that. So we know the history. So people have been using this for a while. It's from a palm tree, it's the fruit, or it's the extract from the fruit these berries of a palm tree that grows in coastal regions in the USA. It's been used for a long time. Uh, people have uh, studied it on the effects of prostate health for a long time. And now it's being also used for bodybuilding purposes, for sexual purposes, because of um, regulating hormones. People think that would, might actually help with libido and with hair and prostate issues, which is just overall health. And if you're a guy, that is important to you to have a healthy prostate because that will eventually decrease in health over time, no matter what, it's gonna happen, even if you manage to live through everything else. And then if you really care about your looks, you know, your hair. Uh, although if it does affect your sex drive, I would suggest that you stop taking it because even if you do have luscious hair to get the ladies, what's going to happen when you can't get in bed and you can't get an erection or anything? Uh, just to be quite clear, the dose things up in the air, I think I saw like 160 milligrams of the fruit extract daily uh, to be an effective dose. This has 40 or this has 50 milligrams of the uh, fruit extract in it and then 450 milligrams of the powder. So I guess you might have to take even three of these a day. And I'm not sure about the powder. You might want to look that up on what the powder might do. But for all intents and purposes, I've seen that the powder is ineffective and basically dead if it's powder form. But it depends on what you look at, what you read. A lot of people have said that this is basically ineffective for prostate health. But like I said, the studies vary. There are changes in the form of it and the dosage. And there are different things that aren't being looked at. But there are a lot of people who say that does work. And honestly, like if you try it and you're not taking anything else and you have a personal testimony, that that's the thing. I think God put plants on this earth to help us and strengthen us and that we can use those God-given things to fix certain problems as opposed to just manufacturing chemicals and then putting them into our body and then dealing with the harsh side effects of those because yeah, this drug might actually, you know, stop thinning your hair, but then you look at actually the negative side effects that can and will happen from it and you're trying to weigh your options like, yeah, is it taking a plant so bad? And maybe if it does work, then I should just keep taking it. But like with everything, it's trial and error. Who knows if it's gonna work for you when it works for someone else and who knows if you're gonna get the same results and who knows if you're even gonna get the side effects. So, saw palmetto, prostate health. I'm taking it currently. Uh, I can't speak for it. I've only taken it for about a week now, maybe two weeks, but I do see it in a lot of bodybuilding supplements, so I'm going to be trying it out, seeing how it works for me, seeing if I do experience these negative side effects, if I do uh, see strength gains in the gym, testosterone, hormone regulation, if I'm feeling more manly or less manly, and um, I can't really check, I don't get common, or I don't get like frequent checks on my prostate, so I can't speak for that, but I could tell you about my hair thickness, and you could even look and say, hey man, his, his hair's looking a lot richer and thicker right now, I am, uh, I'm on my keyboard, I'm gonna comment, oh, hey, Team Natty, nice hair. <laughs> Please do that, that would make me feel, that make me feel a lot better about it. Okay, make me feel pretty good, okay. So, just so you know. Overall, though, this is just an overview. I know some of you are gonna comment and be like, he didn't even review it. What are you even talking about? But it's not a review, it's an overview. We're just talking about this supplement. So, quick synopsis. Salt palmetto comes from a palm tree. Uh, either the, the root of it or the extract from the fruit from these deep purple berries that it grows, it is a palm tree grown in coastal regions in the US. 
It has helped used to slow down the enzyme 5 alpha reductase from taking testosterone and converting it into dihydrotestosterone, which is DHT, which stimulates growth of the prostate and attaches to your hair follicles and makes them die. So thus, it slows down the process of hair thinning out and your prostate growing, which is not a good thing. You don't want your pro you want your muscles to grow. You don't want your prostate to grow. It helps hormone regulation and boosting testosterone levels and lowering estrogen levels, thus helping with gym performance and gains. So that's why we're trialing out um, overview of Saul Palmetto. I hope you guys enjoyed this little review. Uh, check it out. Rita on it. I mean, with anything before I buy it, before I take it, before I do anything, I read up on it. I do a lot of research. That's why I hope you watch this video. But just so you know, like, don't just take my word for it and be like, King Natty said buy Saul Palmetto. I'm not saying buy Saul Palmetto. I'm saying I'm trying it out, you know? And with anything in life, you should try it out. But before you try anything out, you should read it, research it, figure it out, see if it's something that you might want to try or use or need. Um, so that being said, you guys take it easy, Team Natty out.